Hey everybody, it's Techjar here, and today I'm doing something rather different from what is usually on this channel. If you can't tell by what, what's already on the screen, I mean, you know. It, yeah, so this is my uh, 8x8x8 RGB LED cube, which I have worked on for quite a while. So this is just kind of a video to uh, do a quick demo, show off some of the animations it's capable of. And I'm also planning on doing a video that's going to talk a bit about the cube, about the instruction, the, not the instruction, construction. Uh, not not too specific. This design is actually uh, based on a uh, design by Kevin Dara. So I'm going to put a link to his video on, in the description. He gets uh, most of the credit for this design, how the cube itself is actually constructed, the current control circuit. I'm actually built, planning on building a new control circuit, but I'll show you why. Actually, I don't know if I can show you why the camera might not behave the same, but yeah, anyways. So I'm not going to do a video on the, on like a full construction of the cube. If you want a video on that, I'll put a link to Kevin Dara's video in the description. But I am going to do a video that's going to talk a bit about the differences and some of the neat little things. So uh, we're just going to demo some of the animations here. This one right here, it's one of my personal favorites. It's pretty neat. This is the uh, classic rain animation. You'll actually see this in uh, Kevin Dara's cube. Now what's uh, neat about this is I've got this fancy control software. This is one of the key differences. I can pull that up on the screen right now. You can see right here, it's got all this uh, neat functionality. You can do sequences. I haven't actually made any yet. We've got plays music, spectrum analyzer, two spectrum analyzers, actually completely modular system. I'm going to eventually add more functionality on it. Uh, hell, let me uh, show you this. You can even draw on the cube. Check this out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll just uh, put the uh, cube manager. This is actually called the LED cube manager. That's what I've dubbed it. We'll just uh, shove it down into the corner. And you can see we can draw on the cube in, you know, any color from the RGB color spectrum that you please. Make it do a little, okay, that was magenta. I didn't meant to do red. Toss some yellow in there. And then we can just sort of uh, clear it. Let's make a little, see if we can do this. Um, I don't, I don't know if that really worked. That that probably doesn't really. It looks like a smiley face on the on the LED cube manager from the perspective. But if we just sort of uh, move the camera around, if you you, you you can already see it on the cube, but this kind of just turns into a, a, a mosh of what I don't, like. I don't know what this is. But uh, yeah, some of the neat animations we have on here. We've got this one. It's just a rather nice animation of just kind of random fucking colors. Yeah, okay, there's not too much to see there. <clears throat> We've got, oh Jesus, that's not what I wanted. It's a little bit better, but still not what I wanted. This one doesn't work too well yet. The actual reason for that is because of the 4-bit uh, brightness control. I'm actually going to design a new cathode control board for that. Well, I've already designed the board. I just have to actually get it and put it, uh, solder the components to it. <clears throat> so that'll uh, be in a little while. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a, take a drink. Um, which, what that uh, new driver board will enable is 12-bit brightness control, which will give us a lot better resolution because I can show you this real quick. We just pull up static fill here. We'll just do a little bit of a white. You can actually change this LED cube manager between true color and uh, full color. Like true color being the display in the, the actual resolution of the cube, which won't really matter once I have the full 12 bit. It's actually oversampled. But uh, that there is the br is the lowest brightness level, and I don't know if the, what the camera sees, but it might not actually be that bright. It's certainly. Uh, relatively bright from my perspective though 
So it's not a very good uh, linear brightness control. It's kind of not compensated for the non-linearity of the eye. So that's something I'm going to fix eventually. But you can see the cube looks quite nice in blue. We can make it green. And of course, we can make it red. And we can make it every other fucking color in the spectrum. So why the hell not? <laughs> This is one of my, uh, I kind of like to consider this a sort of idle animation, I guess. I don't know. It kind of just shows off the fact that, hey, the cube does all sorts of colors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like this ran anima brain animation. I actually change this animation here. Just change the code a little bit. This looks, this looks rather neat when I do this. Let's just uh, reload that. And there you go. Color is now different. Rather like that color. See the little lightning strikes in there. Neat little effect. Anyway, some of the other animations that we have to choose from here. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's just go through these. We've got uh, the snake. Of course, the snake battle, which does a whole bunch of randomly colored snakes. You can, of course, actually change the color of the snakes. And it doesn't... I, I actually made this animation not clear. Maybe I should make this animation clear. But uh, I made it not clear the cube. So it sort of just overwrites the old lit-up LEDs. Of course, snake infinity, which makes a little rainbow snake that kind of just goes forever until it gets stuck and then it unwinds itself. See, there you go. So that's pretty neat. Um, this nifty animation. Call it scrollers. The LEDs just kind of go between the top and bottom. And not the LEDs, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Make it green. We can do this neat animation. This is kind of a... Per I call it progressive fill kind of speeds up and fills out the whole cube in, in a rather random fashion. Got the classic sine wave. Of course, you can't have an LED cube without the sine wave. And then we have the sine cosine wave, which is exactly what it sounds like. And then there's the stacker. And one of my, and my favorite stacker, the rainbow stacker, which is especially neat once you put the drain animation over it. And then we move on to the faucet, which isn't particularly interesting, but it gets better because you have the multi faucet, which is mildly interesting. And of course, I have to actually clear the cube for this one. So go back here and select none. And we can do faucet fill. This actually fill, will fill the cube up from the faucet. And we can, of course, cycle, change the colors, and it'll just sort of do that. It's kind of funny to do. It looks neat. Let's throw some red in there. But of course, what gets real interesting is when you do rainbow faucet fill. Because this one cycles through the whole color spectrum when uh, filling it. And then of course, last but not least, we have the neat sliding boxes animation. I can do some neat stuff with this one too, like uh, just pull up the code here. Uh, we can speed it up, slow it down. It looks rather crappy when you slow it down, though, because of the frame rate. Like, right now, we're running it at, like, 20 FPS. We can pull it up to a 60 FPS, which we saw before. Of course, it looks best like this, as far as, uh, you know, speed goes. And we can also increase the number of boxes. I can actually turn it all the way up to the maximum. Well, technically, you can do up to 8 probably more than that but it would get I, I think I don't want to try more than eight because I think I think the way I wrote the code it'll freeze 
But uh, we can do seven. What did I just push? Oops. No, go away. Okay. We can do that, which... That's, that's a, maybe a little bit much. <laughs> Let's try five boxes. That's a bit better. But still a bit much. I think it's best at three, but we'll try four. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm recording this in uh, 720p. I don't know if you're watching this in 720p, 60. But if you are, good good job. Yeah, I would have done this in 1080p, but the DSLR I'm using only does 720p at 60fps. So I want to do it in 60fps because the cube runs at 60fps. I also cannot make this too long because the camera will only record 20 minutes. Yeah, no, apparently, like, I don't know if that's an arbitrary limitation or if 720p 60 FPS or 20 minutes of that is like 32 gigabytes, but apparently, I, I don't know. Yeah, the video files output from it are rather, rather large. But yeah, this is pretty neat RGB LED cube. It's going to get some improvements to the uh, brightness control. I mean, because one major problem is that this animation just looks awful. It does not look... I don't know if you can see the uh, the LED cube manager. I'll pull it up on the screen full size. Shove that back down there. Yeah, it looks rather uh, crappy on the cube. Nothing like what it's supposed to look like. And that's, of course, because of the limited brightness range. But we'll just go back to the rain animation. Because this is one of my... This is my personal favorite. At least the little drops at the bottom kind of fade out. A little extra touch I did there. Yeah, so that's the RGB LED cube. And uh, you know, that's pretty much, pretty much the end of the demo. Oh, except for uh, one more thing. So uh, the Spectrum Analyzer, right. It does pretty much what it says on the tin. So... I'm going to leave you guys with a song on the Spectrum Analyzer, and I thank you for watching this video. And, uh, yeah, let's just uh, get some uh, Monster Cat here. What should we go with? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I have uh, decided on a song. This one right here. So you probably can't even see that, but... I will leave you with a song on the Spectrum Analyzer. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video, or the part of this video before this. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in... Well, not see you, but you know, whatever fucking next video I do. Which will probably be more of the RGB LED cube. So, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.